Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys four of my favorite hairstyles right now. All the hairstyles are really easy to recreate, except for probably one of them when you're using extensions to create your ponytail. But that's the only style that's a little time consuming and you have to take your time because you're using extensions. Because if you don't, it might not come out right. So let's just go ahead and get right into the first style. So I'm starting off easy with these two pin down buns. It's a mixture of a bantu knot and a pin curl, if that makes sense. And what you're going to need is bobby pins that I got from the beauty supply store, a comb, a flat iron, and your choice of an edge control and something to brush your edges down with. Starting off by parting my hair down the center in two sections. Grabbing one section of my hair up as if it was a ponytail, I'm going to twist and wrap the hair around itself to create a small bun. To keep these buns into place and make them look more flat, I'm going to bobby pin them down to my head and repeat the same process to the other side of my head. To add more oomph to the style, I'm pulling out some stray hairs and then I'm going to add a bend to them with my flat iron. Moving on to this next style, which I think is super cute. You guys are going to need some bobby pins that I got from the beauty supply store. You guys are also going to need two donut buns, which I got from the beauty supply store, and elastic bands to hold your bun into place. I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair up into two pigtails. Once my hair is up into pigtails, I'm going to take my donut buns, pull my ponytails through the center of the bun, and then fluff and comb my hair over the donut buns. And then I'm going to take the excess hair, wrap it around my bun, and tuck it under. And then I'm going to take my bow ties and secure this bun into place. Once I have the bun secured with a hair tie, I'm going to take some bobby pins and attach the bun to my head so that the bun doesn't look like it's floating. And of course, I'm doing the same thing to the other side of my head. Moving on to my edges because edges are a mess when it comes to this style. You can't leave out the edges, you know what I'm saying? So I'm using my Murray's pomade to lay down my edges because I ran out of my Design Essentials edge control. And yes, I am using a spoolie to shape my edges into place. Moving on to this next style that you guys have seen me do before, but I just really love this style. So these are the products that you guys are going to need, similar to the last two styles. So all you're going to do is pull your hair up into a high ponytail, and I'm brushing it up with a dimming brush. And I'm looking at both sides of my head to make sure I get the placement of this high ponytail right. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put it in a high ponytail. Then I'm going to take my donut bun, pull my ponytail through the hole, fluff my hair over the bun with that dimming brush and then I'm gonna wrap my excess hair around the bun and then tuck it into place after that I'm gonna take a hair tie and secure this bun into place and because I don't want this bun to look like it's floating and it's not attached to my head I'm gonna take some bobby pins squish the bun down so it looks like it's attached to my head and then bobby pin the bun to my head so it stays into place and then of course I can't forget about laying the edges and pulling out a few stray pieces to make it look like a everyday messy cute style. Now for this high messy ponytail with extensions added, you guys are going to need a comb, some bobby pins, hair tie, and some extensions. The ones that I'm wearing is from Eunice Hair and I have the Peruvian straight in the inches 14 or 16. So I'm going to start off by parting my hair off in sections. I'm going to part the front section off and then do two side sections to part the side sections off by my ear. And then I'm going to part off the back section of my hair. And 
and then the middle section of my hair is going to be shaped in a square so this is how everything is looking and the ponytail is going to be attached to the middle square section of my hair hopefully this is not too confusing so i'm just going to let you guys watch how i create this ponytail so i'm taking this middle section and pulling it up into a high ponytail I'm grabbing my Eunice Peruvian straight hair in the inches 14 or 16 and I'm sticking the bobby pin through the loop so I can attach the weft to my ponytail. And I did double the weft if you guys didn't notice so I'm just attaching the bundle to the base of my ponytail and then I'm going to wrap the bundle around the base of my ponytail until it's finished. And then I'm taking two bobby pins to secure the ponytail. Okay, so now that the ponytail is made, you guys can kind of see where my hair stops. So I'm going to go in and trim just a little bit and trimming some of the length off the ponytail so it can blend in with my natural hair. Now that my ponytail is made, I'm going to take down the back section first, brush it up with my Denman brush, then take down the front section of my hair and brush it up into the high ponytail as well. And then I'm going to grab my hair tie and secure the ponytail. Now I'm going to fluff my ponytail out a little bit, lay my edges, and that is it for this messy ponytail. Alright you guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next upload.